I'm often asked, what does improv have to do with business? And what could making up a comedy show possibly have in common with, say, reaching a sales target or designing the next killer app? Allow me to start by putting you in the shoes of an improviser. Imagine you're standing on stage in front of dozens of people, and they're all there because they desire something from you, in this case, to be entertained. And what they expect is something wonderful, and they want it right away. Now, if you look around the stage, you'll see there's no sets or props. And by the way, you don't have a script. But what you do have are your teammates. You're all in this together. And the greatest part is you all know that everyone has each other's backs. There's no better feeling in the world. If you thought improv was standing at a mic and telling jokes, that couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, it's a team of highly supportive and trusting people collaborating in the moment to create something extraordinary. This tight-knit team can get a one-word suggestion from the audience that will inspire them to create 30 to 60 minutes of hilarious scenes, sometimes even songs and dances, too. Creating something wonderful together without a script. Now imagine your business. What is it that your clients or customers all want, and when do they want it? But more importantly, how will you deliver it? Well, for that, you need a great team. And after all, it's the people that make your company work. So how equipped are yours to pull together to deliver extraordinary results under tons of pressure? And that's why more and more companies are bringing improvisers to their organizations to help develop their teams. In improv, we like to say that the only star is the ensemble itself, and we mean it. We put our team before ourselves because we know it's the only way to create something extraordinary, something that no one of us could have created completely on our own. It all starts with time spent preparing to improvise. That's right, we spend a lot of time preparing ourselves to thrive under pressure and without a script. Preparation means rehearsals in which we just play lots of really fun games that build support and trust within the group. One of my favorite beginner games is Ninja Stars, where we simply pretend to throw and catch a bunch of imaginary ninja stars with the goal that no one dies. And in order to succeed, everyone needs to be fully present and playing all in. Furthermore, our level of communication is way heightened since our ninja stars are imaginary. We're forced to pay very close attention to eye contact, body language, and verbal signals. Throwers also have to be sure that catchers are fully prepared before they can release the weapon. And that's how you catch it. It's a super fun game that anybody can play. The key is to facilitate the game in a way that builds more challenging levels and debrief along the way with the team to discuss how does this apply to work. I've taught this game in this way to many teams, and the number one takeaway from everyone is that trust is the foundation of all great teams. And a simple way to start to increase trust within a team is to practice having each other's backs under difficult circumstances. So that's just one example of how improv can be a fantastic teaching tool for organizations that want a high energy, high impact way to quickly bring a group of people together and transform them into a high performing team. Now, whether you want that team to deliver the next killer app or a killer comedy show, that's up to you. I'm Amy Lisesky, founder of Finest City Improv and director of professional development. Thanks for joining me today.